Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and in this video, I'm going to talk about Wigovi, which is the new drug everyone is talking about. What it is used for and why is it getting so much attention? We're going to cover all of that in this video, so stay tuned. Well, if you have been on TikTok or Twitter, you may have seen the Ozempic weight loss craze everywhere. Um, Ozempic was approved by FDA in 2021 for diabetes and many people were prescribed it off-label for weight loss. So much that there was a national shortage of this medication which led to a lot of heat to the pharmaceutical companies, doctors, and insurance companies for taking the drug away from the diabetic people, quote unquote, which crucially kind of needed according to people. Well, ever since the doctors now have been very strict and careful about not prescribing Zempic for weight loss and also a lot of the insurances are now not paying for it without a prior authorization and if you don't know what prior authorization is prior authorization is that even though the doctor writes the uh, prescription the insurance will not pay for it until the doctor calls the insurance company and let the insurance know about the medical justification for the use of this medication. So that was the side note. Anyways, the Zempic has now been a little bit defamed from the market or per se from the patients because a lot of insurances, like I said, are not paid for it anymore. And there was this one big hype that the medication is on back order for quite some time. Now, the new alternative and the emerging name uh, for the weight loss industry is Vigovi. Now, this medication has been making headlines lately for its potential uh, you know effect in the weight management so let's see what's up with this drug and what are the details so for those of you who don't know bigovi also known as semaglutide is an injectable medication that has been approved by fda for chronic weight medication in adults with obesity or overweight who have at least one weight related health condition so Vigovi basically has the same active ingredient, which is the semaglutide that Ozempic has. Just uh, Vigovi has a little bit higher dose of it to help with the weight loss. Now, semaglutide uh, belongs to a class of drugs called GLP-1 receptor agonists. I'm sorry, and these drugs work by mimicking the effects of hormones called GLP-1 in the body and what they do is they help regulate the appetite and the food intake. Now Vigovi acts on certain areas of the brain to reduce the hunger and it increases the feeling of fullness. So even with a little bit of amount of food that you're gonna eat, you're gonna feel fuller faster and you're gonna feel fuller for a longer period of time because what it does is it's going to slow down the emptying of the stomach which leads to decreased desire to eat and kind of overall reduction in the calorie intake. Hence, reduced calorie intake results in weight loss. So patients who are taking this medication, something to uh, kind of keep in mind or something which is just so life changing is that the foods that used to be so appealing and exciting for them prior to taking the medication are no longer exciting for them which is kind of sad but this is because they are feeling fuller faster and those people who think that um, on Vigovi they can literally eat whatever food they like and it's that miracle drug that is still going to help them lose weight well my dear unfortunately that's not true because the medication is going to make you filler faster and you're gonna eat lesser and if you are going to 
stuff up with more food and that extra slice of pizza, you're gonna experience side effects. So that feeling that, oh yes, I can eat pizza and order a double meal burger from McDonald's or Wendy's, that's not gonna work anymore. If you're going to do that, you're gonna feel horrible in terms of, you know, you're gonna feel nauseous, you're gonna experience side effects, not just nausea, but you may even like experience vomiting, and which is not going to make you feel good it's rather gonna make you feel awful and with vomiting of course you're gonna experience dehydration and you could also be malnourished so uh, some of the other side effects that you can experience would be like constipation or diarrhea so basically like upset stomach or just your gastrointestinal side effects um, with this medication now, another concern that people have while taking this medication is that they lose their lean muscle mass. So, what I mean by that is that, uh, you know, with Vigovi, what happens is you're basically intaking fewer calories, right? So, fewer calories means you're gonna um, shed your weight because with fewer calories, you not only lose your body fat, but you also lose your body muscles. And this is why it is important that when you take this medication, you closely uh, you know, talk to your doctor or you talk to your nutritionist uh, who can guide you as how much protein uh, you should be intaking and how slowly you should be increasing the dose of the medication. Uh, based on you know how your body is responding to the side effects of the medication so this is just so you're not experiencing that nausea vomiting or malnourishment side effect or as per se like uh, you know you're not losing that uh, lean muscle uh, with this medication and you're getting that uh, ozempic face kind uh, of face with this medication as well also when you are taking this medication you should have a proper plan for exercise in place that should include your uh, weight training and resistance exercise that way you're re regaining some of that lean muscle mass that you may have lost with the medication and this is why it's important to start the medication at a lower dose of 0.25 milligram and you take that once a week for at least four weeks and then as tolerated you're going to increase it to 0.5 milligram once a week for a month and then gradually um, increase it to the target dose of 2.5 milligram uh, once a week. Another thing with Vigovi is that it is not intended for use in patients who are already at a healthier weight. Like for somebody who is like, you know, round and a little bit, you know, on the heavier side because they have the big bones, this medication cannot be used to make them look slimmer or skinnier. That's not the right use of the medication. You have to have the, uh, you know, a B's weight or a BMI of more than equal to 30 or you should be overweight or you have an excess weight with a BMI of uh, more than equal to uh, 27 which in that case you have to have one of the medical conditions underlying medical condition in terms of either uh, you should be pre-diabetic or you have like a, any weight related medical issue and in, if you do fall in either one of these categories, only then your doctor is going to prescribe you this medication with a proper reduced calorie meal plan and is going to suggest you of increasing your physical activity. Because in a 68 week uh, medical study that was conducted, uh, it was shown that this medication is proven to lose weight of up to 35 pounds or approximately which is like 15% of the body weight. Just remember that while Vigovi can be effective tool in weight management, it is so crucial to remember that it should be used as a part of comprehensive approach. 
that should include you know adopting a balanced diet engaging in regular physical activity and making sustainable lifestyle changes because once if you don't do that then once you stop using this medication all of that weight and all of those habits are going to come back because now you don't have this medication who is telling your brain uh, you know to feel fuller faster and to control the portion so more so of the mental game it's about making uh, you know changes in your physical lifestyle and kind of disciplining yourself that way once you uh, stop the medication because of course you're not going to be on the medication forever for the rest of your life, right? That's not sustainable So if and when you do stop the medication, you don't have that rebound weight gain On the ending note, I do want to say that when you think of individuals health You do not just think of weight. Weight is just a number on the scale which is not true representation of your health when we think of good health, we are thinking of overall quality of life. We are thinking of, you know, what factors can help uh, prevention of disease in this individual. We are thinking of patients' mental and emotional well-being. Weight is not the sole determinant of any person's overall health. So definitely keep that in mind the next time you step on the scale and you are all like, worried and agitated about the number on that scale, just remember weight is not the sole representative or determinant of your health. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and remember to consult with your healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance. If you did find value in this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more informative content like this and i will see you guys next time until then take care bye hey guys if you found value in this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos